I am Anil Kumar trying to understand the concept of compounding along with you and then we'll get into compound interest questions. Well what I have done here is taken one particular example investment of thousand dollars and I'm trying to view it from different angles so that we get the concept. Here is the first one. It says Anil invests thousand dollars into a bond that pays compound interest annually. The table shows the annual balance for this investment. Explain how the investment of thousand dollars growing. So we have this table here which gives you years one to five and the balance at the end of the year. So after the end of first year the balance is 1060. We started with thousand remember that right and at the end of second year it's 1123.60 then 1191.02 1262.48 and then 1338.22 now let's discuss how this money invested is growing so we started with thousand dollars right so at the end of one year it grows to 1060 that means the growth is how much if we take away thousand dollars which we invested we'll find that the growth is 160, 1060 minus 1000, which is $60. Now, if I want to calculate the percent growth, it should be $60, the growth, over investment of 1000, right, times 100. Now, that gives us what? Well, that's simple. That's 6%, right? So, there is a growth rate of 6%, right? Now, if we expect growth rate of 6% on $1,000, then that means we expect $60 extra. So next year, we expect $60 extra. But what do we find? At the end of second year, it is 11.23 plus 6.0. If I add 60, then I get 11.20, right? So it is 360 more. So what I see here is that I got $60, but something extra is there and it is 360 extra do you see that so if i add 60 plus 360 i get that number 1123.60 so what is happening here is that on thousand dollars which i invested i again get interest of six percent which is sixty dollars but from where do i get that 360 so this is a simple interest which we calculate, right? $60 on 1000 So at the end of second year, I should get that one. Perfectly fine. 60 at the end of first year, this 60 additional at the end of second year. But I get something extra, which is 360 Now from where does it come? That is what compounding is all about. Do you understand? That is compounding. You are getting interest on the interest earned. 360, $3.60 cents is actually 6% of 60. Let's calculate. 6% of 60 is what? 6% means 6 over 100 times 60, right? Gives me what? 6 times 6, let me cancel first is 1, 0. 6 times 6 is 36, right? 36 divided by 10 puts a decimal here. 3.6. So, so I get 6% also on the interest earned. And that is why at the end of second year, the growth is much more than the expected growth of 60. Do you see that? That is compounding. So when it is compounding, then the growth is on the growth. So that is how we see compounding, right? So if a compound interest is there on an investment, growth is much faster. Well, there's another way to look into it. And this time, what we will do is, we'll check with other values. So, we have seen one thing, that this growth is not linear. It is not increasing by 60 all the time. It is increasing by 60, then 60 plus something, and who knows what will be plus after second year. Well, we can figure it out. Let's do one thing. Let's divide the numbers and see the factor, if we can find one by which it is growing. So what I will do now is, using calculator, we'll divide 1338.22 by 1262.48.
let's see what we get 1338.22 divided by 1262.48 it gives me 1.0599 so it is 1.0599 okay now let's divide 1262.48 by 1191.02 1262.48 divided by 1191.02 that gives us 1.0599 1.0599 let's do it once more so this time 1191.02 divided by 1123.6 it is 1.06 okay so what we see here is when we divide the consecutive terms we get a factor of 1.06 right this could be approximated to 1.06 correct 1.06 so basically our investment is getting multiplied by a factor of 1.06 is it so let's multiply 1000 by 1.06 1.06 what do you get you get 1060 yes it does so you can check for yourself that actually the investment is getting multiplied by a factor and that is 1.06 so you could split this factor as 1 plus 0 0.06 or 1 plus 6 percent now it makes sense so it is getting compounded right and the growth rate is 6 percent do you see that so it is like a geometric sequence where the growth factor is 1.06 and the rate is 6%. Do you see that? Rate is equal to 6%. So every time, whatever the investment is in this particular account, the next year it gets multiplied by a factor of 1.06. So what we can say about this investment is that it is growing rapidly at a rate of 6%. And here the growth factor is 1.06. So that is how we can understand and explain the given situation. I hope you got the gist of it. Let's move on to the next video and then see how to find the interest rate. Thank you.